Hi everyone, I'm here to just do a quick review on the Shantakai Future Skin. It's an oil-free skin, um, oil for a gel foundation. So it comes in a jar like this. Um, and I bought this at Mecca Cosmetica. So it um, retails for $99. So it is one of the most expensive foundations I've ever purchased. Uh, and when I um, reset, like I got a sample for this and I really didn't want to like it. I had a few samples from a few different foundations trying to find something that I was going to really enjoy using. Um, and this one came out on top. So um, I'll tell you a bit about it. It's marketed to um, a dry to medium uh, skin types, so dry to combination. But um, I have combination to oily skin, and I think it works really well for me. I set it with a powder, um, and I haven't touched up all day. So you can see that it's definitely like a dewy finish. It does have a little bit of um, a skin texture, so you're not going to be all matte. Um, it's a medium to full foundation, uh, full coverage. Uh, I would argue that it wasn't a full coverage. I haven't been able to build it to a full coverage. Um, you can definitely um, still see your skin underneath the foundation. So it just looks like your skin, but better. Um, the reason why um, this foundation stood um, out for me was it felt so comfortable on my skin. I didn't feel like I was wearing a lot of foundation um, And that's something that I was really looking for in my new foundation. I wanted something that would last me all day I don't want to be touching up throughout the day and I also wanted something um, That looked like my skin but better and I didn't want it to be sitting in any fine lines or in your pores or around your nose or anything like that I wanted it to just sit nicely all day and this is exactly what this does so um, it says that the skin is perfected and dewy and it contains aloe vera chamomile and um, arnica to calm irritation so I, I, I'm assuming that over time it's meant to like um, calm the redness in your skin rather than irritate it like some foundations can do so what I've been doing is I've been actually just applying a little bit all over my face and then blending it in with a beauty blender. Um, and I've actually been using it under my eyes as well. And so I don't have any concealer under my eyes at the moment. So you can tell it's definitely taken away some of the dark circles, but you can still see some of the redness. So you'd need to go back in with concealer if that's what you want to do. If you wanted that perfect canvas, um, you'd need to go in with the concealer. But for me, it was just the feeling of it feeling and looking like skin. Um, and the fact that it didn't get oily throughout the day. So um, I would definitely recommend it. The only thing is that it comes in the jar container. So you're always opening it and exposing it to bacteria and things like that. Um, just be cautious of like using your hands to take it out. Um, use like a sanitary, like a little spoon or something to take it out um, so that you're not constantly putting your fingers into the jar. Um, it's a 30 gram um, which is pretty standard fan foundation. It does look like a small container, but uh, it's not. It's the standard size. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's really something that I would say, go get a sample of. Uh, it's a beautiful foundation. It's, it's a gel consistency. So I'll show you what it looks like inside. So you can see that it has like a bit of um, weight to it, but I would highly recommend it. I do think everyone should go get a sample of it first because um, it is so pricey that it's worth to get a sample. If you would enjoy it, then maybe splurge and buy it. Um, I can't actually recommend anything from a drugstore that would be similar to this. It's probably the nicest foundation that I've ever tried. So um, for me, it was worth the splurge, but um, we'll see when I empty it, whether or not I want to um, repurchase it. I've just been um, setting up with the MAC Prep and Prime with the Kabuki, um, and yeah, as I said, it's been lasting me all day. So it's a really nice foundation um, if you guys are in the market for something that is like skin, but better, and um, feels really comfortable on your skin, then I do recommend you trying it. All right, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.